Hello, my fellow drumsticks and snare, and welcome to Minecraft 2011, episode 2. I know, it, it might be a little confusing because technically this is the third episode, but you know, this is episode number 2. <laughs> so, uh, we're over here at the desert city, which, you know, looking pretty unfinished. We're here because I have some stuff to show you. You see, a lot of things have been happening between this episode and the last. And I thought I would start off the episode by actually uh, presenting to you all the things that happened. Uh, yeah, I've been working on the on the forest here too. It's a lot of effort. <laughs> so over here at Ivy Stall's base, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Me and Ivy have been working on some farms. Oh, it's so cozy and rainy. The first farm that me and Ivy have made is the sheep farm and as you can see it's now get in dumb bitch haha <laughs> fuck you so we're here at the sheep farm and this was the second farm that me and ivy built and uh, mainly because we needed shut the fuck up man mainly because we needed a lot of building blocks and wool is one of those okay this rain is fucking annoying Can you stop? Thank you, Woo. Okay, can, this is a really fast farm. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description because it's not my design. Uh, look how much wool it got me in like, I don't know, it fills an entire double chest in about an hour and a half, which is really good uh, rates for, you know, just a survival world like mine. Uh, sadly, collecting materials for today's project, <laughs> uh, I realized, oh fuck. This is way too slow. So in the future, expect this to actually be stacked on top of itself and each layer would have like, you know, one color of wool, aka 16 fucking layers, aka a million dispensers. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but that's that. And we also made an iron golem farm. It's a very simple design, but it gives us so many resources that it's just enough. Yeah, as you can see, just a few stacks within like an hour or something. This is like more than enough for us. We're not really going to build with iron right now. We might in the future though. Now, this is not all that's happened between the episodes. <laughs> a lot more stuff has happened. Me and Ivy went around the world and actually cleared a few projects that, uh, you know, were failed. Back when I started playing in this world, I actually had different ideas for how to make the sheep farm and such. And we went and completely removed those so they wouldn't and so they wouldn't clutter up the world and look like shit. Uh yeah. El paso. <laughs> yeah, Ivy's doing horses this season and it's interesting that they got uh, access to these weird skeleton horses. They're really cool. Uh, I don't think they can be bred. They look really cool though. I love this. Anyway, what are we doing this episode? Well, you see, there's a lot of stuff actually that I want to cover and it's going to be a really weird mixed episode. <laughs> so let me run you down on what will happen. For the first section of the episode, I will be doing our wilderness build, and this time it will be an end portal room uh, building. Well, it's the exterior of that area. You see, Ivy Stall is planning on making a nether hub, and they sort of need nether portals set up so they can start making the hub based on where those are. We need to start setting definitive places for our nether portals. That includes the desert city, that includes um, 2011, uh, that includes the end portal, and uh, Ivy Stall's place too. So with that said, these next episodes we will have to sort of work a bit in those places and create little portal areas. And that's why we're working on the end city right now. Not in city, end portal room or whatever it is. Stronghold. Yes. <laughs> and not only that, but it's giving me uh, <laughs> the opportunity to do something really funny in a functional way. <laughs> oh, you're going to enjoy this. 
In the second half of the video, I will be going on a little mining trip with Ivy. You see, when we updated the world, a whole section underneath the 2011 area has opened up. And I decided, hey, let's record a little just going mining to show you how the new update feels. And lastly, for this episode, we will also be working on 2011 and doing some fun stuff now that we have access to all. <laughs> but yeah, let's begin. Alrighty, so here we are at the site of our first project. Like I mentioned in the intro, this first project takes place at the end... No, the stronghold, not the end city. I'm a fucking dumbass. Um, and we're over here right now. This is a really pretty place, as you can see. And if we just look behind, it's marked by the huge cobblestone penis in, in my back. And you will see there's a few random pillars that I built. And these are to indicate where we will be building today's uh, building. Aha! I cleared out this huge area um, and I marked out the build's size. And over here, I have the marker for where the end portal is. So this is right above the center of the end portal. So what are we going to build today? If you look, you will notice that it's a perfect square. It's a little hard to see from over here, but it's a perfect square and it's pretty big, you know, and let's just, you know, let's just look at the blocks for today. Now, maybe on first sight, this won't ring anything, but you know, this last shulker <laughs> spoils it. We're going to be building a really big melon. Um, but it's not going to be any type of melon. <laughs> oh no, get ready. Get ready for this shit. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making a huge melon um, pixel art. Each Minecraft pixel will be equal to a two by two of blocks. And uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'll do with it. First, let's let's prepare our materials. So I have a lot of stuff prepped here. Um, I mainly need this yellow wall. I'm going to be making the facade first. Okay, I need to make some concrete. Oh shit, I realized I don't have water. Let's sleep. Sleepy time. Mmm. Ah, Schweppes. Okay, and I need yellow concrete too. Where is my yellow dye? Here we go. This. Okay, am I missing anything? I'm missing the actual... Oh my god. No! No! Oh wait, I do. <laughs> with something hello um, and you know I, I just want to remind you that you know God died for our sins and I feel as if you know I'm single-handedly undoing that <laughs> uh, uh, let me just show you shall I um, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. So, <laughs> from the title, you may realize that <laughs> the build still has a little bit to go. Um, 
So let me explain what I want to do <laughs> going forward. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. You see,、uh, one of the main things that's missing from this is an entrance. And what I was thinking of doing is using some of this red, juicy wall. The juicy tampon out. Oh my god, I'm gonna vomit. Ju- red, ju- juicy wall and concrete and powder. And this, these coal blocks to create like a sort of interior, like this juicy interior that's all red. And basically, I will crack it open to the side and make like this diagonal entrance into it. So, like, a slice has been cut out. And then. <laughs> and then I will.、Uh, Uh, I'll be I'll be adding an ice cream cup on top and I will be filling it with, with、uh, you know, some white wall. <laughs> Just, you know, the, the white wall,、um, it, it's not wall. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not wall, you see. It's, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You see? laughs> yeah, it's, uh. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess it's time to reveal what the name will be as well.、Uh, this is going to be called the, uh, the, uh, the ice cream cum, cream, cum, cream, uh, cum, uh, shop. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, I spit all over my fucking screen, man. Um, ice cream, come, cream, come, come, cream, come, uh. And the worst part is <laughs> for this little slit that we're making, uh, the ice cream, come, c r e a m will, will be, you know, just dripping down and mixing with the watermelon juices and turning pink and making a huge puddle of pink <laughs> around it. And it will be very gross and weird, <laughs> but it will be fucking hilarious, I think. And it will be dripping down all into this area. Oh, Jesus. And this will be our end area. <sighs> so let's look at what we have to do next. Like I said, next comes the crack. But before that, I need to create this ceiling. So, a little quick tip for pixel art when you're doing very big blocks like this, you will notice that the texture usually there's a texture on one side and then a texture on the other.、Um, the best way to you know, manage to build it in a way that it doesn't look like shit, like you have to extend the texture here and then continue it you know, somewhere else with a different part, is to just simply mirror the last pixel. So, like, continue the pixel as if it were the end of the texture. And it may look weird, like you can see there, there's some weirdness. But overall, it's a lot more、uh, fluid and seamless. And generally, people aren't going to notice it when they look at it. Like, you probably haven't noticed it until I mentioned it just now. So, another way that I added more texture and made this look more natural, even though I didn't actually have the colors from the, from the palette,、uh, because you can see this yellow in here, it's very green, and this is just normal yellow, is I just. In a sense, try to abuse the fact that you aren't seeing the actual original texture. So, this yellow is a lot more saturated than it should be. And it's completely fine because you don't realize it. Another thing is, I used a lot of lighter tones to mix in and, in a sense, make it look more textured. So, at the tips of the yellow strips, I'm using a lot of this、uh, yellow concrete that's a bit lighter than your normal yellow. And it's a different texture, you know? Which makes it look really nice. Same with this、uh, concrete and with the lime. So that's a quick tip for you because I know pixel art is very painful to make because of this stuff. 
you see these textures aren't actually lining up. <sighs> I need to have my shivers again. <sighs> and yeah. Life. You know, <laughs> um, this <laughs> really does look like uh, a watermelon, you know? It's, uh, um, definitely doesn't look like I'm looking into a gaping pussy. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> um, so I built up the walls <laughs> and now I need to add the seeds in it. And then over there, I need to make some sort of entrance. And then, you know, comes the far fun part. Yeah, it, it comes. So the way uh, seeds are placed in a watermelon is like sort of like this, like in a circle. So I need to figure out a way to sort of displace them. Then another one over here. Jesus, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I cannot see shit. You know, that looks cute. I cannot see shit because of this rain. If there was... Oh, if there were a way to skip rain. I know of one. Oh wow, somehow the rain is gone and suddenly the whole watermelon is finished? What? Wow, that's cool. Wish there was um, an addition for everyone in Minecraft. Yeah, I got, you know, I got like an open, open beta preview access from Mojang because my Let's Play is so good. It's fine. Someday you'll understand, you know. For now, it's fine. You can see it in my video. Yeah, no one else got access to this feature. So now that that's done, let's move on and let's do that little ice cream cup on the top that I wanted to do. Now, I know the seeds aren't really perfect. They're sort of like wonky. <laughs> but I think that's cute. I think that makes it a bit more lively and organic. You have to start accepting your quote unquote mistakes as just part of the build, you know? In a sense, not that you leave in ugly shit just because you're scared you can't change it or because you're telling yourself, no, leave it that way. But small things like this, like this not being perfectly round and such, I think in a sense it gives it life and makes it feel like it's been man-made, you know? It lets you focus on other stuff and it lets you build around it. If you make something that has a weird shape, for example, an un unperfect circle, you're going to end up with a more interesting house, right? You want to make a weird circular tower? Guess what? That tower is going to look more in, uh, interesting than a perfectly shaped circle, you know? So I'm going to make a huge cup on the top. And from the cup, the, um, the cream, uh, it's cum, cream is going to spill over on the sides like this. And then, you know, somewhere over here. Now, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I have enough time to finish all of this in this episode. But I can finish the ice cream cup. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to go through, so this this is already going to take a long time. Whew. Oh god, oh Jesus, oh god. I'm improving by the way. <laughs> I'm not used to building like this. Uh, let's see how it looks. Ac wow, actually that shape is perfect. What the fuck? Time for the cummies, I mean... Uh, cream, I, it's, cream, uh, ice, 
Ice cream complete. Ice cream complete. Oh no, Jesus died, I think. Oh, Jesus just came actually. <laughs> Oh no, it's time, I think. I think it's time. Oh, I just realized I can make it so you go in for a wolf. I'm gonna go like this. Yes, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> he loved it. Uh, I think, you know what? I, I think I was right. This is, this is enough for today. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I need to remove the penis, though. Penis. Oh, my God. If this isn't thumbnail material... I don't know what is. So I'm going to finish this next episode. I don't think I can finish it really, but I sort of want to do a bit of the interior if possible. I still have to do the back. I'm going to do that off camera. And I do have to do some other things here. I have prepared the room, the end room, which is marked with the stone pillar. I think I mentioned that earlier, but yeah. That will do it for this section of the video. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, next we are going mining with Ivy and doing some satisfying resource gathering. Also checking out how the caves look and the new update and seeing all that cool stuff. We even find some skulk stuff. Sadly, we don't come across a warden or, or such, but soon enough, we will find some. We will play around with them when we do. We just need to find mangrove biomes and... Uh, uh, what are they called? Twinksies, whatever they're called. Uh, with that said, <laughs> let's let's go on. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wait a second. Huh? This is my base. Am I getting the coordinates wrong? No. Hello. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Hello. I was about to. I was like, something's wrong. Like, I feel like he's inside. And I was like, I was about to bring my way to there. I'm like, this is not 74. God damn it. You. <sighs> <sighs> when did you. I. Can you see me? Bro, you're. Oh, hi. Yes. Okay, finally. So, when it comes to the underground area, there is a little zone that I think we could go down through. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> Are you just gonna go dig straight down or...? Okay. You know, I actually don't trust this either. Uh, then why are you digging only one block? You know, in, in, in theory, this would be easier to do, I mean but... What? Oh, I found it! I found it. I just got, yeah, I was gonna see it, so I think it's above. Here. Oh my god. Night vision. Yes. Pretty, pretty big. Whoa, this looks weird. Oh shit, sir, ma'am. Have water. Wow. This fine. Oh. I need I was trying to drink Ooh. my potion. <laughs> this place is huge. Yeah, let me put like a torch here on there. Oh diamonds! Diamonds! Hey, oh. Diamonds! Uh, oh god. This old Zambussy. Oh. oh, dare you. I'm not gonna punch you because I'm. Thanks. I'm just gonna combine them and make a better one. <laughs> see, you're smart. Yeah, see, I'm so, I told you I played Minecraft before. Yeah, sure. Bro. Hey, man. Oh my fucking god, what is this? There's, there's like three homies kissing each other, never mind two. It does feel like finding diamonds is a lot more fun now. It is. It feels like you're exploring and you just happen to find diamonds from time to time. I was about to say up. Oh my god. 
there's diamonds here. You're not supposed to collect the buds. Okay. You broke one, didn't you? No. <laughs> you broke one. No, I don't want to buy it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Wait, how far does this go? Holy. Yeah, I mean, we could also just There's like diamonds go here. around here. Come on now, you pussy. Drink it up. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Hi. Ow. Can you actually swim in lava? No, you Not can't. Not really. Macaroon! Oh my god. Dude, this place is so cool when it's dark. Here, right. I'll take a... Oh, you you also lost your night vision? I, I Yeah, but I got it again on because I had another bottle. Oh, you're in the water? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I got so many times stuck at one point while I was in it. <laughs> what do we do at church, girl? <laughs> what are you doing? Baptizing yourself? Hi. Are, are you like swimming? <laughs> I don't know what you <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing it as well. <laughs> Google. You look like you're drowning. If you do this. Baptizing children be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can get out. <laughs> Here, I'll help you. Take okay. off your elytra for a second, and then You're I can right, go you fix. Know what? Yeah, there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you good? You almost pushed me. That's why I got scared. Um, well, that's not good. Thank you. Oh, you said what? What's that call? Uh, call uh, that song with diamonds in the sky. We've got a total of two stacks and four diamonds. Out of how many? Whoa. Out of fifty. Oh, okay. What's wrong? How much copper did you get? We got a lot of copper. Oh my god, I mined like five pieces and I got a stack. Here, Karu. Okay. Catch. Oh. <laughs> also, these don't give me XP. Huh. I didn't do <laughs> Your skin oh, looks hi. so cute with the like, with the visor. Oh, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was by accident this time. Sure it was. So we got one stack, two stacks, three stacks, four stacks, five stacks of copper blocks. Sure, yeah. This is all I got so far. Oops, ah. sorry. You absolute... Oh wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! Go back, what? go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah. Uh, so we have thirty-five diamonds. How many do you want? Oh wait, fuck no! And that was the amount of iron. We have two diamonds. How many do you want? What? That is so annoying. No. Uh, you know, I really like this area. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, this was one of my first builds actually after making the house. I just made this little pit in which I don't know what I wanted to do with it but I remember just wanting some sort of glass roof on it and <laughs> I just put the wall of glass too and I just get to look out for this really pretty view. Now <laughs> as much as I like this and I wanted to show it to you too, this is not what we're doing here. You see we're getting close to the end of the episode and Wait, I just realized. Does this change biome? We're getting close to the end of the episode, and you know, I wanted to squeeze in one last project after the <laughs> really big project that we did prior. So, what exactly am I going to do? Well, you see, the whole point of this world is to sort of be like the panoramic screen, you know? So, what I did off camera is I went and put in some more roses 
<laughs> roses. The roses are from the iron farm, by the way. But I thought, you know, seeing how you would technically have to be sitting like over there, you know, sort of to get the panoramic view over here. I thought, why not put some signs up with like text and such? I think it would be really cute for this area and it would make it a bit more lively, you know? So I've got some materials right here, some wool, now that we have a wool farm. And I thought, okay, let's, let's draw some cute shit. So I thought over there, let's build a I heart 2011 sign, right? And I also thought somewhere behind here where there is the glass desert, it would be nice if from over here, you could see like a sign saying the year that we're in. The year, the year that we're in English. Basically write the years out, but the ones that have passed, just make them gray, grayed out. And the one that we're currently in to be, you know, in a nice color. I think that would be really cute. And <laughs> it, you know, it would sort of show the history of the world and also fill up this area, you know? It, it feels like this area is like just a huge lake to look at, but there's nothing much else to it. So, you know, looking up, you're gonna see the years, maybe a little LG TV flag, wink wonk. You know, maybe I should make a pool party. It is summer. This this place is like so untouched. It's like virgin. Your little pussy belongs to me now. You're gonna learn to do what I fucking tell you to do. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no. Uh, I won't say that ever again. I fucking hate that. <laughs> No, I love that meme. It's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, let's see. I should make it a bit further back, like over here. I don't have building blocks. I don't have my ender chest. I'm a fucking dumbass. Ah! I'm gonna build it a few blocks up. Like this high? Yeah, maybe another block. No. <laughs> There's no I in anal. Oh, oh. Yeah, that looks really good. Here, I know it comes up. And here... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh my god. Uh, anyway, this time is perfect to talk about our today's sponsor, Manscaped. <laughs> you see how I'm trimming these bushes? <laughs> That's a joke. I'm not being sponsored by Manscaped. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks so cute. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's actually so cute. Oh, that makes me really sick when I do stuff like that. <laughs> I wonder why. So, you come out of the house and it's, it's blocked by the trees. Oh, that's so cool. That's amazing. You know, for me, this world, the fact that I have it right now is... It's making me really happy because it's it's that one world that everyone has or had and they'd be lost that you know we we just loved because we put so much effort and care into this is it for me and i get to be in it and enjoy it for forever unless i lose it which i won't i won't ever lose this world it means too much to me i'll make sure that it will never go ever Okay, enough with the cry stuff. Uh, let's move on to the second uh, pixel art build that we're gonna do today. Yes, we're doing more pixel art builds because I want to. <laughs> so I have here some colors and I think you know what I'm going to build. That's right, I'm going to build the LG TV flag. Oh, she. Um, but before that, I'm going to make the years that I was talking about, the 2020, 2021, 2022 years. I think that's going to be really cute and uh, 
and I think it will give some depth and lore to this world. Oh, okay. So I think building off of this is going to be pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. It's really nice having an elytra. <laughs> oh shit, that looks so cool. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it looks so good. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Alrighty. Okay, and let's see how this looks. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and it highlights so well what year we're in. <laughs> and now we need to start thinking about the LGBT flag. I'm thinking maybe a good place to do it is over here, like over the water. I don't have leads. Be right back. Okay, I think this is cute. <laughs> what? What? I literally did that, but worse. What? Why? It's so bad. Jesus Christ, man. So, yeah, um, I think this is a good point to end the episode. Oh, wow, we can see like all the pixel art from here. I think this is a great point to end the episode uh, because, you know, we did quite a bit. We did that big, big melon. Mm. We did that really big melon. We did uh, this pixel art and we did some caving. And I don't think when there's anything else we should do, to be honest. I think I should just wrap it up and just get prepared for next episode. Now, the episodes aren't coming out very fast, and I'm sorry for that, you know, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working as fast as I can, but uh, I have a lot of stuff on my plate recently. I started a studio with a friend, so yeah, I, um, I've been making music, doing a lot of stuff on the side, not just Minecraft, and Minecraft right now, as, you know, as much as I've been getting support for every episode, which has just been making me so happy to do this and record this. I I can't focus on it as much because, you know, this studio is going to be my future. And Minecraft right now is just a one-off series. So, yeah. <laughs> so, if you've been watching Minecraft for a long time, you probably know about this already, but I'm going to explain it anyway. So... Does anyone here know Stampy? Stampy Long knows. <laughs> um, Stampy was a Minecraft YouTuber, and I'm pretty sure he still does Minecraft videos, I don't know. And he had a very big Minecraft Let's Play that he oriented towards children. And, you know, he, he had a very big Minecraft Let's Play, like 500 episodes, I'm pretty sure. Now... I was one of the people that used to watch him. And one of those things that he had on his Let's Play that everyone loved was this little place called the Love Garden. And it's something that he built on very early in the series and then decided that he would just fill it up with signs. And every episode on one of the signs, he would add one of his um, fans' names. And... That fan would be someone who sent in some really pretty artwork or made cool video or stuff like that or sent him a letter or something. And he would put them in his love garden and show off that fan art. And I was thinking that, you know, that, that would be a really cute thing to do for our series, you know, to just um, steal it. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, borrow his idea 
I don't think he would mind. You know, this is not a children's let's play. This is an adult's let's play. I have some signs. <laughs> and let's put someone's name on this huge wall. Alrighty. And I found a comment. So it's from someone called the trash man 78. Thank you so much. I really love <laughs> these really cute comments. So the trash man 788. <laughs> This is not for nothing. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this fucking Enderman. Jesus, where is it? Is it like in a cave under here? <laughs> Dude. But yeah, I think it's enough for this episode. <laughs> I'll let you do something else now. <laughs> and I'll go do my own thing too. So until next time, remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to be on my sand wall. <laughs> And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.